Now a Fox 31 Denver exclusive. Without that camera, it would have been my word against his. The man shoved down a set of stairs by a Denver police officer breaks his silence. The victim of police excessive force speaking out about the incident and the officer's 30-day suspension. Investigative reporter Rob Lowe joins us live from outside the bar where this happened in Lodo with the interview you'll see only on Fox 31 Denver. Rob? Jeremy, the incident happened last July here at the One Up Bar in Lodo. We showed you that disturbing video on Tuesday. The victim, Brandon Triber, was arrested that night for resisting arrest and interference and says criminal charges might still hang over his head if what happened hadn't been caught by that city halo camera. The video doesn't have audio, but it speaks loudly when Officer Choice Johnson suddenly pushes Brandon Schreiber against a set of stairs blocked in this video by a pole. I do remember my neck being on the corner of either the second or the third stair. Brandon tore both his rotator cuffs in the fall. On the night of the shove, he was enjoying a bachelor party for his brother's wedding. It's his brother you see in handcuffs who bar bouncers say fell asleep at the bar. Officer Johnson was about to take the brother to a detox center when he says Brandon Schreiber tried to persuade him not to with colorful language. According to investigative reports, Officer Johnson says Brandon pushed his chest out in a defensive manner and told him to get the F away and not to touch him, adding Brandon supposedly told his brother, hey, let's just effing run. I would never say anything like that to a police officer. Again, the video doesn't include audio, but investigators for internal affairs pointed out that Brandon's hands were in his pocket, posing no threat to the 12-year police veteran. Brandon says it's still hard to watch the video. It was upsetting. Yeah, and I was with my fiance and my mother at the time, who both started crying. At the time, all officers working downtown were supposed to be wearing body cams as part of a Denver pilot study. But Officer Johnson wasn't wearing one. He was off duty, moonlighting for the one-up bar. Because it was my word against his, and I guess without the video, it, it, nobody would have believed me. It took the city attorney seven months to drop charges against Brandon. Brandon had to go to court over and over and over again to vindicate himself. Now Brandon's attorney says it's Officer Johnson who should be charged for lying in his police reports. If you or I did this, we'd be in jail. We'd be in jail for assault and in jail for false information. In a statement to Internal Affairs, Johnson explained the push this way. I didn't intend for that. My intentions were, like I said, a quick thrust. He'd be off balance, handcuff, grab an arm, hold on, handcuff. That way, he doesn't have the ability to fight. Officer Johnson has six prior complaints against him that have been sustained, leading Brandon to wonder why the officer's punishment for unreasonable use of force is a 30-day suspension. If this person has the potential to, to do something like that, I don't think he should be on the streets because he's armed with a deadly weapon. Officer Johnson is appealing his 30-day suspension, but that won't prevent him from having to serve it. And it begins this Sunday. Denver police said they can't comment because the case is under appeal. We also reached out to Officer Johnson's attorneys, but they never called us back. Reporting live in Lodo, Rob Lowe, Fox 31 Denver.